Hello, hello. We just had bad luck. We wanted to enter the exclusion zone from the south, but because of very high sulfurous gas content in that area, nobody was allowed in and everybody was called out. So we were basically turned away. And uh, that means we have a few minutes now to stop here at this wall. And it might sound like a bit of a silly thing, but actually it's a very special wall to me because it is made of local stone from the Las Indias eruption. That's a prehistoric eruption but, uh, that happened about 3,200 years ago. And uh, it's, um, it was vented near the village of Las Indias here in the southern area on La Palma. And the stone has a lot of these casino promises, these foreign inclusions, and they are quartz rich. And uh, this is what we have been looking for in the current eruption. But yesterday we failed to find them and today we can't actually look for them. So we're going to look at some old ones now. Have a little look at this one here. So here, this is a beautiful inclusion inside the rock. And you can see that there is a bit of uh, a, um, a xenopomis fragment breaking off. And there is a bit of black basalt that has been creeping in. And uh, it's quite frothy actually. The density of those guys is very low. Sometimes even below one. So they would float. And as we've seen in the 2011 eruption, here's another one. In the 2011 eruption of El Hierro, they did actually float on the ocean. So let's step a little bit over here. There is a rather lovely specimen here. And again, it's got some uh, infiltration of the basaltic material. And here through this bubble, we can actually see through uh, into basaltic background material. And here's another one. And they're quite blobby, actually. That implies that uh, they were liquid, so they were melted. And they're rhyolitic in composition. And this is very untypical for ocean islands like this one here, which is dominantly basaltic to phonolithic. That's an alkali rock phonolite. So these rhyolites, they are more continental, strictly speaking. And indeed, uh, we see continental minerals in them like quartz. And uh, these minerals, like the quartzes, they come from Africa. So uh, this is material shed from Africa that was deposited on the ocean floor and uh, the volcanoes have brought it up and melted it and now we have them as inclusions here so pieces of africa found in the eruptive material here and that happens again right now in the current eruption where we have small fragments white fragments with quartz crystals and african detritus detrital material from africa is being recycled into these materials. So here's another nice one. And let's close with this rather kind of beautiful one. There it's less frothy, but you see the micro bubbles in there and you see that it was mingling together with the rock. So this is uh, breaking apart and the liquid basalt was infiltrating these inclusions. And I guess uh, I can't uh, help myself. I get carried away. Here's another gorgeous one I'd like to show you. And uh, yet more, sorry, since we're here, we may as well. So here's another one. This is a bit more strung out and it's a bit kind of streaky or Schlieren type. And uh, this also shows they were very plastic at the time of incorporation and emplacement of this lava. So, and uh, as you see, there's probably a lot more here in the wall, but I think we'll give it a stop now. If you just look at this kind of a block here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and um, they are quite abundant in some samples here. So, that was the, the Las Indias wall. This rock was quarried here, and it was also used for building the big hotel down at the shore, the Teneguilla Princess. And uh, it's a very common building stone here in the south of Tenerife because of this rather beautiful texture with these inclusions. I've also had a little video uh, four weeks ago that the tourist center, the tourist office in Funcaliente was made of this rock. So this is uh, actually quite spectacular. And this is why I'm a little surprised at times that uh, people are looking at the volcanic eruption, which is happening just over there, 
being a bit confused about some of these inclusions. They're actually in many of the rocks on uh, these islands, on the Canary Islands. They're in the um, Timanfaya rocks on Lanzarote. They are also on Gran Canaria in the Montaña Negra rocks. So, uh, and of course, they're here. They've been seen on El Hierro. They're actually rather typical. And I think we have to expect those to occur in the Canary eruptions rather than being a bit puzzled by them. I think they are the rule rather than the exception. So, thank you very much, all the very best, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.